Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube Guide Series. In this guide, we'll overview a few basic processes you will need to perform throughout the guide series. A simple test only switch container has been added to the project to aid the steps in this guide. Like all software, when you modify any content in it, you will need to save the updates you have added. Some content you save will become live in game, however, some content will need to be built into the sound banks to become live in the game. Once you have added any new content to WISE, either press Ctrl plus S on your keyboard or, in the WISE toolbar, select Project, then Save. The content you have saved is now saved to your local PC only. This step highlights how to generate the sound banks with the new updates. In the WISE toolbar, under Layouts, select Sound Banks or press F7. This layout lists all sound banks created for the project. Under Sound Banks, add a tick to the main sound bank. Under Platforms, add a tick next to your operating system. Then, under Languages, add a tick next to the language you wish to add the content to. Click on the Generate UI button to start generating the sound banks. Once completed, the sound banks will say Completed with Message. If you want to check if your new content has been included into the sound banks, simply select the sound bank, then in the sound bank editor, change to the Edit tab. Then in the search box, type the name of the content you have added. It is very easy to forget a simple step when implementing a hierarchy into WISE. Thankfully, WISE has a test report of hierarchy structure integrity. This step will highlight how to use the integrity report. In the WISE toolbar, select Views, then Integrity Report, or press Shift plus G on your keyboard. Set up the following settings. Under Platforms, tick your operating system. Under Languages, tick your default language, e.g. English. Then, under Report, tick all available options for the best possible detailed report results. Once the report is completed, if you recognise any items in the list related to your new updates, then right-click the item, select Find in Project Explorer, then Sync Group 1. This should jump you to the problem content. Use the Integrity Report Status and Comments Slash Suggestion columns to help identify the problem. As highlighted, the test underscore only has two errors. The switch container has not been assigned a switch with assigned variables. Also, the random container does not have any child content assigned. Debugging your updates are a must before submitting your new updates to a live project database. If you modify anything in WISE, you should always quick test your updates in game. Boot up the cube game and connect WISE to the game. In the WISE toolbar, under Layouts, select Profiler or press F6 on your keyboard. With WISE connected to the cube game, you can identify any content you wish to look at in more detail by using the filter settings. For a quick search, use the filter box to find content quickly. Type Footstep. You will now notice that as you play the game, only footstep related content is listed. For a detailed search, click on the Filter UI button. In the Capture Log Filter window, tick on the WISE objects. Now you can filter the Capture Log by a certain WISE work unit or WISE container. Filter by footsteps. In the Types list, you can now adjust what information is listed related to the content you have selected. Change these as needed. Then click Apply and close the Capture Log Filter window. Now, as you play the game, the capture log will only fill up with entries related to the footstep work unit.